<clears throat> Senior Minister Churchy Hen is urging more people to join the engineering sector with the field becoming more important as Singapore develops. He was speaking at the opening of the Science Centre's Future Makers exhibition, a permanent display that showcases engineering marvels. There is no doubt that engineering will become more important to Singapore as we enter our next phase of development. There are many exciting challenges waiting for our young Singaporean engineers and scientists to push the boundaries and contribute to a more exciting Singapore. And I hope that many more will come forward to write their own exciting stories of challenge and change. The Future Makers exhibition aims to inspire visitors to think and act like engineers. They can get a glimpse into the modern engineering world and try out more than 15 interactive exhibits which enable them to experience skills that engineers use every day. They'll also get to fly drones and navigate rovers through a challenging landscape. And we're delighted to have with us Chief Executive of the Science Centre, Associate Professor Lim Titmay, and Andy Flesas. He's an American robotics designer. He created the centerpiece of the Future Makers exhibition. Although we understand we should be calling you Andy Robot. Ah, uh, yes, because I love robots. That's right, and you're the perfect <laughs> person to speak to. But we'll come, uh, press Lim, to, to you first, though, just to get your uh, thoughts on this. There are five themed areas, we understand? Yes, uh, there are five themes, and the first theme is actually to just set ourselves in the thinking of solving problems like how to get from the ground floor to the second floor. And uh, you can either take a lift or use your own body machine to climb up the steps or you act like engineers, you crank yourself up from <laughs> ground floor upwards. And the second zone is actually Andy's robot's uh, centerpiece, the robotic arm showing the mindset of uh, engineers and the challenges that we face uh, and solve by engineering means. And the third zones are all the puzzles and exhibits that link to engineering and with that soft we can go to fly drones, we can go and control rovers and one exciting part is to get an escape room again using engineering means to solve problems and escape out of the room with a mission and you have to find out a mission if you go there. <laughs> have you been in, in an escape room? Steve? I have not. Oh gosh, all yeah. the joy. <laughs> they can be maddening. So this should be very interesting it to is, see how it this is. It is meant off. to excite yeah. and to celebrate engineering and engineers. And you have, a, you have to get out in a certain period of time as well. Well, we set 20 minutes all in all. Ooh, mm. that's not generous. Mm. By <laughs> <laughs> Use your friends wisely, I, need, I, I suppose. need a couple of hours. So Andy, let's bring you in on the conversation now. Your um, creation, Object Theatre, you're using robotic arms in this and four mm. of them. So, uh, you know, what inspiration did you draw to sort of put this choreography together? Well, um, I work with the Science Center to figure out uh, what I typically do is create big shows for pop stars, big stadiums, big arenas where it's robots, craziness, explosions and everything else. So in this case, we had to figure out a way working with the Science Center to use that same technology, but to make it more appropriate for young people. Mm. Not only make it appropriate, but to still get that wow that we try to do every day in, in our work. And I got news for you, getting a wow from an eight-year-old is very difficult. <laughs> They're not easily impressed, no, are they? No, especially, especially nowadays. Yeah. So give us a sense then of, of what you know, kids can come and enjoy and come and learn from, because it's not just the wow factor. We want them to, to sort of take these things on board and, and sort of figure out how things work and sort of develop an interest uh, in these sorts of things. You know, one of the things I wanted the kids to leave with is I wanted to give them a little gift and say, hey, your potential is far more than what you think it is. Mm. So we're trying to inspire them and have them leave with this little gift and say, man, I, I can really do this. I can really do something that I never thought about. Yes. And I think the kids are the ones that are going to use robots in new ways in the future mm -hmm. um, to find new ways of doing things. You know, things like old guys like me aren't figuring out. I think it's the kids that are going to be the future to mm. solve a lot of the world's problems mm -hmm. with robots. So it, when it comes to robotics, I mean, we think of, we think of them as doing tasks, right? But um, they're not just mundane tasks that they'll be doing. You know, they've been doing mundane tasks for a long time since the 90s. So when I look at robots, I look at robots amplifying human ability. Whatever, you know, there's all these different verticals that people do, humans do. And in my opinion, robots amplify those capabilities. The people that are amplifying their capabilities now are astronauts, doctors. But I think any vertical can use robots to, to amplify their skills and make humans better, make humans more. When a robot's born, it knows exactly zero.
So it's up to us as humans to teach robots all the things that we know. And there's a lot of things humans know. So, I mean, there's decades and decades for us to teach the robots. Mm -hmm. And the robots are just waiting for us to teach them. They're, they're kind of like little kids. Mm. <laughs> Professor Lim, I can see you nodding your head over there. Uh, robots aside, though, tell us how sort of engineering, I mean, it really does make the world turn and make the world work. But is it something that perhaps we haven't necessarily been... Uh, projecting out there is something that you know young people should be getting excited about. Yes, exactly. And and, and this exhibition is is to really showcase and change the mindset and misconception about mm -hmm. engineering. So we not just talk about big structures. We also go down to very small structures. Mm -hmm. So in this exhibition, you, you we also talk about engineering of genomes, engineering of food, mm -hmm. and there's one part that is quite interesting, and that is. Uh, engineering of uh, fashion, wearable fashions, using 3D printing, using materials, using, using smart materials. And uh, these this are how engineering is transforming the way we live healthily, in fun way, and also in harmony with the, with the environment. So it is changing in many, many ways, interfacing with many facets of our life. Mm. Mm. It's everywhere around us. But, you know, the first everywhere. time I ever yes. thought about engineering in an academic, academic capacity at all was uh, Marina Bay Sands. How did they get you know, the ship on yes. top of it? <laughs> 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 right, How did they right. get that on top? Yes. So that was a feat of engineering. Yes. Um, Andy, a quick question for you about bridging this gap between creators and robots, though. Uh, what are the main challenges that you see in the future for this? I think the main challenges are converting the languages of those different disciplines in engineering, in science, in my case, the science of creativity, getting the language of that vertical to be understood by the robot. So it's like trans the humans have to translate that language. So in the case of what you see at the Science Center, we're using the language of animation, but, and we've translated that so the robot can understand it because the robot's language is very cryptic. It's very cryptic. So all these different fields have to be translators so that robots can hear that and to um, mm. amplify that human ability by knowing that, that specific language. And there's a lot of different languages within engineering. Well, you've given us a lot to think about, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be thinking about how to amplify my own capabilities. Yes. It'll be a very short list, I can assure you. Well, I'm wondering about the escape room and whether or not Dawn would be a good person to have. Ah, yes. Here. Well, there <laughs> anyway, you go. I think Andy Robot's the guy I have. But anyway, thanks very much, both of you, for coming you. and speaking to us. Associate Professor Lim Tet Ming, Chief Executive of the Science Center and Robotics Designer, Andy Robot.